Hey, what's up guys? We've got a little issue with the 67 Mustang Coupe. I drove it for about 600 miles after I put in a new aluminum radiator, new water pump that's high flow, new thermostat, new alternator, new power steering pump. I did a bunch of stuff in the front end. Everything drove perfect. And I just went to do an oil change the other day. The oil level looked a little bit low. So I checked the radiator, not good. It's brown, check this picture out. It's not good at all. I can't tell if that's oil, uh, if it's uh, transmission fluid, if it's maybe just rust. So today I gotta figure out what's going on. I gotta flush the, the whole radiator, uh, see what that looks like. Best case scenario, it's just rust. Worst case scenario could be a blown head gasket. So not good, let's see what it is. That looks pretty good, although the stuff that was in it before has settled. So you can see there's some like sediment in there, which maybe is a good indicator that this is not oil. Maybe this is just rust. So I'm gonna flush this thing out and see what it looks like. Here's the oil that I just drained out. Good news is there does not appear to be any water in that at all. Um, the bad news is for whatever reason, this does not look like it's the full five quarts of oil or whatever these things take. It looks pretty light. So if my radiator problem has nothing to do with oil, then something's happening to the oil here. Maybe there's some blow by that's uh, happening that I'm not sure about. I definitely don't have any oil leaks. There's nothing dripping on the ground. So I'll have to look into that. Maybe it just has been running low because it's, you know, eating a little oil more than I'm used to. So got to figure this out a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the oil that I just took out into this uh, can so that I can then drain the radiator and see what is going on in there. Hopefully the radiator just has rust. Uh, it's gonna be bad news if it's got some oil in there, but I can tell this doesn't have any water in it. This is pure oil. So there's no water getting into the oil, which is good, but there's something getting into the water and hopefully it's just rust. Yeah, that diff definitely. That definitely was not five quarts. draining and it's still green so that's good news when I look up here and I look down in here I can see sediment of some sort see that that clearly is not oil because oils floating so what I'm gonna do is stick a q-tip down in here see if I can swab a little bit of that like I'm testing for COVID but I'm not okay so let's take a look at this here is the Q-tip. That's not oil. I'm gonna see what kind of consistency this has. Hmm. It's, maybe it's just rust. That absolutely could just be rust. It doesn't feel like oil and it's not looking like oil. You can see in the pan here, again, there was oil in there. That's floating on the top. 100% was not doing that in the radiator. 
so it wasn't doing that in the radiator. I'm pretty sure that that's not oil in there. I think it's rust, which means disaster averted. So I'll swap it again just for good measure. I'll take a look at this. Pretty sure that's rust. That would be good. It's not feeling like like oil. Okay, so I've got the radiator and the whole cooling system flushed now. I've got new coolant in there, as you can see, and I'm gonna fire the car up, see what happens. I'm gonna let this bubble and aerate a little bit, or not aerate, but let the, the air bubbles pop out uh, and then top it off again and let's see what it looks like. Here we go. Hey guys, so I just got back from a little test drive on the car with the new coolant uh, and actually fresh oil change as well. So everything new on there and seemed to run good. The temperature stayed nice. Wanted to show you what this uh, actually looks like when you test the coolant system here. So check this out. So we're back to being green coolant, which is what we want. That's nice. I can still see it's a little bit cloudy. So here's what I think happened. I'm pretty sure that there's nothing wrong with the head gasket or the heads or anything like that. I'm convinced there's no oil getting into the coolant and there's certainly no coolant getting into the oil. So that's good. Disaster averted. What I think I'm seeing is a little bit of cloudiness that's due to some rust that's getting in the coolant system. I don't think I saw this before. I think why this is happening now is because I've got a really high flow water pump, new aluminum radiator, and I think it's just pushing stuff through and breaking stuff loose that's in the old cast iron block that maybe wasn't getting broken loose before with the old radiator and the original water pump, or the old style water pump anyway. So I think that's what's happening. I think after maybe a couple of flushes uh, of coolant, and maybe if I can um, even find a way to to pressurize the system and uh, really drive some of the debris loose and get some of that rust flakes or whatever's in there out, I think I'm going to be in good shape. But for now, like I said, I think I lucked out. Nothing big. Uh, hopefully that's just the case. Thanks again, guys. I'll keep you posted. See ya.